The Gabonese head of state began by deploring the Baltic law interest of certain countries, particularly during the 2009 Copenhagen Conference on Climate Change, the resolutions on which were eagerly awaited to curb global warming. It has carried out a number of reforms at national level that are already bearing fruit in terms of environmental preservation and the fight against climate change. Gabon recently achieved carbon neutrality, which was one of the resolutions of the COP21 held in 2015 in Paris, France. The country was even rewarded last year with an Norwegian fund of just 9 billion TFA francs. Fuali Bungo Ondiba, this African climate conference which happens today in Libreville, the Gabonese capital, is all the more important as it lays the foundations of the conference of the parties of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, COP27, which will take place in Sharm El Sheikh in Egypt from 6th of November to the 18th. A meeting that should really be Africa's meeting for Ali Bungo and Dimba, who is calling on Africans to take full ownership of COP27. Africa, the cradle of humanity, must also be the continent that will save it from the increasingly visible effect of global warming.